Hey guys, so today I have some new drugstore products that I picked up from various places. I went to Walgreens, Ulta, and Target and I grabbed some things and I thought I would show you guys what I got. I'm going to start off with a couple of the face products that I picked up and I got the Rimmel Stay Matte Liquid Mousse Foundation. I got this in two different colors. I got True Beige and True Ivory because I wasn't sure which shade would match me. So I thought I would mix these together and I am wearing both the colors on my face right now and so far I don't know how I feel about it. I've only worn it um, two days. I wore it yesterday for the first time. I know this is being talked about pretty much everywhere right now so I wanted to try it out for myself. This was only I think five dollars from Walgreens and at the time it was buy one get one half off so that's why I picked up the two different colors. So far my first impressions of it I think it does a good job at keeping my skin matte throughout the day but I'm someone who really doesn't like the feeling of heavy foundations on my skin I don't usually wear that much foundation so using this I didn't think it was very lightweight and I feel like you can still kind of feel the foundation on your skin throughout the day so I don't know if I love that aspect of it but I do think it does a good job at keeping your skin matte and then I picked up a new Maybelline instant age rewind you guys know I like to put this under my eyes and I have it in the color neutralizer and while I was at Ulta, I came across the Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge, and I've been wanting to try this out for a while. So far, I have been testing it out for a couple of days now, and I don't want to talk too much about it because I think I might do a comparison video with the Beauty Blender, but so far, I think it does a really great job, and I think this was only around $5.99. And then I picked up a Revlon Colorburst Matte Balm, and this has been around for a little while, but I haven't been able to get my hands on this color in forever. I seriously stocked like all the Targets and Walgreens and drugstores around me, and they were always out of stock on this color, and it's in 215 Shameless, which is like a really gorgeous, like deep, plummy purple color, and I'm always really drawn to like purpley lip colors. So I really wanted this, and I finally found it at, um, a random target. I love the matte finish on this. It's just really pretty and this is actually really similar to one of my MAC lipsticks in Strong Woman which the color is very similar and the finish is also matte so this is a great dupe for it. I picked up one of the new lipsticks from the Maybelline Color Sensation line. I think the collection is called the Buffs and I got it in the color what is this? Espresso Exposed and I know it looks really intimidating because it's really dark and vampy, but that's kind of what drew me to it. I really like the color of it. It's a lot less scary on. It's kind of like um, a deeper brown kind of berry color, which I actually really like. I don't have a lot of colors like this. The color is a little bit intense, but you can lightly apply this and blend this out with your fingertips and it gives you a really pretty your lips but better kind of color. And if you're wondering what color I was wearing on my lips in my um, top 13 beauty products video, I was wearing this one with a light pink gloss over it and I love the color of it. And then I picked up two of the colors from the new L'Oreal Color Rouge Extraordinaire Liquid Lipsticks collection and I got it in the color Nude Ballet and also in Scarlet Concerto. Nude Ballet is the color I have on my lips right now. It's a really pretty kind of pinky nude color, which I really like. These are not sticky or heavy feeling at all. These are liquid lipsticks, so the color is pretty rich and I like that and they have like a sweet scent to them and they have kind of a larger teardrop kind of applicator. And then Scarlet Concerto, I thought it would be a deeper kind of burgundy red color like the um, thing. But I think it's a little bit more bright. It's a brighter red, so I don't know how I feel about it. I do like the formulas of them a lot, but I don't think these are like a long-wearing kind of liquid lipstick, which I'm okay with. And these, I think, were $7.99 from Target. And then I got two more lip products. These are the Wet n Wild Mega Slicks Balm Stains because everyone is coming out with a balm stain. But I wanted to try these out. These were really inexpensive. I think these were like $2.99 or something. And they had coupons on them for a dollar off. So I got them for a pretty good deal. I got it in the color Lady and the Vamp, which is again a plummy kind of wine color. And then I also got Nudist Colony, which is a nude color. And I actually haven't opened these to try them yet, so I'm gonna open them now. God, I love these perforated plastic 
scraps. Seriously? Okay. Oh, it clicks. That's nice. So let's see what Lady and the Vamp looks like. Oh. So it's actually a pretty sheer wash of color. Um, but I do like the color of it. It is really pretty. I don't, I don't want to just touch my mouth. Dang. I don't think it really smells like anything, which I prefer anyway. And God, I, it looks like it does have a little bit of a stain on my hand. I'm gonna take this off and see what this color looks like. should have tried the nude one first. So it's pretty sheer, but it's really moisturizing. This talking and applying is really not working. Okay, so that's what it looks like. I actually like the color of it and it feels really nice on. It feels like a nice moisturizing balm, so I really like that. Okay, let's take it off and see if it stains. Uh, yeah, it kind of, it does leave like a semi-stain on your lips. Okay, let's see what nudist colony looks like on, again, battle with the wrapping. This is very well protective, Wet n Wild. You've done a good job. Okay, so let's swatch it on hand. Oh, that's very pretty. I don't know if you guys can see, it's kind of like a very pale pink nude color. It kind of looks like a concealer stick, <laughs> to be honest. Let's see what it looks like on my lips. See, I should have put the nude on first. Now you can see that purple color underneath. And you can also hear my neighbors. I am surprised by the colors of these. Like you can actually see the colors on my lips. I don't know how I'm feeling about this. It's a little bit too pale and nude. I'm just gonna go ahead and take that off. And you can still see the stain from the other color that I was using. Lady and the Vamp. That's crazy. Looks like a berry stain. Kind of love it. Last but not least, this is not a makeup product, but I did grab it when I was at Ulta, and it's this L'Oreal Texted Tossel Waves Spray. This, I think, is a newer product. I haven't seen it anywhere else, so I think it's new, but it's an all-day undressed look. It says it has fibro lock technology in it. I don't know what that means, but it's supposed to boost style endurance, so it says. But this is basically a sea salt texturizing spray and I like to use this when my hair is damp. I spray this in and then I blow dry it. Or sometimes I like to spray this onto my dry hair just to give it a little bit more texture because my hair is really fine and a little bit hard to work with. So sea salt sprays and like texturizing products work really well for my hair and it just gives it a little bit more oomph. So that is everything that I have for you guys today. Let me know in the comments below if you guys want to see me do a tutorial or anything on any of the products that I mentioned and I will talk to you soon. Bye!